just before the video starts guys go down into the description below and come and follow me on instagram i'm pretty much active on there pretty much every day i've only got 606 followers so i feel a bit neglected i've got facebook and twitter but i do use um, instagram the most if you use instagram go down the description below and come and follow me i'd really appreciate it anyway let's get into the video hi guys welcome back we have a gaming video on the umu digi f1 then we're going to start off with Asphalt Extreme, then PUBG with using these Fly Digi Stinger triggers, which you can purchase from Gearbest in the description below. There are affiliate links. Now, Asphalt 9, for some reason, when you search on the Play Store, you cannot find it on the F1 to download. So, so I've gone for the Extreme Rally version. Here we go. So it's down. Well, the so graphical settings are on high, high quality. Let's see how smooth this F1 actually is. So far, it's looking great. Oh. Ah, wreck. Ooh. I haven't played this one in a while. So one of my favourite Asphalt games is Asphalt 9 come out. I do prefer 9 though. Super. That was absolutely flawless. Couldn't fault that there at all. So I quickly jump into a bit of Sniper 3D. Um, I'm pretty sure lots of you have played this game before. It is a pretty cool game, but rather easy. The graphics look great on this. Congratulations. Let's sort this one out. Was it him? Ah. Oh. I've lost him now, haven't I? What a complete shitball. Where is he? Oh, crap. Retry. Ah, oh, I don't know again. There we go. Straighten his back. In his backpack. Sweet. Hey. Easy. Which is great. Games seem to be responsive. Quick. Let's do this last one. Where is he? Da, da, da. Ah, there he is. No, oh, he's on the move. Sweet. Okay, let's jump on to another asphalt game, Extreme Rally. The last one of this one. Here we go. Oh. 
<laughs> this is a mad game. It's a lot hec more hectic than Asphalt 9. Oh, what are we doing there? Smooth as butter. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm way behind here. Oh, <laughs> Go on. Oh, what's this? Whoa. And I finished first, kicked ass. Sweet. Again, no problems at all there. Really, really like it. Okay, so next I'm going to be testing uh, PUBG with the triggers set up. At the moment, the F1 is a little bit warm, which you probably come to expect in the way, but it's not really, really hot. So um, let's fire up PUBG. Let's put the frame rate up high. HD as well. How high can we go? So we can't go up to HDR just yet. So it's HD, high, realistic. That's how I like my graphical settings. New settings have been applied. Reduce the frame rate if it fluctuates. That's fine. Right, I'm going to set these controls up. Okay, so the triggers are set up. Um, this device is around eight. It's over eight millimeters thick. I know that it might be 8.5 or 8.8. .8. I'm not entirely sure. But the Fly Digi Stinger triggers still fit perfectly there. No real problems at all. It's got the padded back there against the back of the the device um yeah so that's pretty cool and i think i'm happy with the way they are set up as well that's fine so this is on hd settings and high frame rate it looks smooth at the moment still it looks really smooth we'll soon see when we launch from the plane where do I want to jump? See, that looks great, look. High graphics. Seems smooth at the moment. Where am I going to jump? Let's jump now. Cool. That looks great. I mean, there's there's quite a, lot of, a fair amount of detail jumping from that height from the plane. Oh, I'm going to land in the bloody water here, aren't I? No. No, 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 please don't. No, 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 no. Get on there, you idiot. Oh, you piece of shit. I started again. That jump completely messed me up. Nearly died. And it was taking ages to get to uh, normal ground. This one should be a little bit better. We can have a look, another look at the descent from the plane. So quite a few people land in here, so let's get a weapon quick. Okay, we landed. That was smooth. Definitely one of the smoothest um, 
starts to PUBG have had on a sort of a budget device like this. Obviously it's different using something like a Pixel. The Pixel absolutely eats through this game. Let's see how we get on then. Visually looks excellent. Huge over six inch screen and full HD plus display, 1080p. Oh, there we go, that's more like it. Let's see what we've got here. That's working, yeah, change guns. Oh, is that only a shotgun? Oh, you joking. So he wasn't a bot. Right, starting again. If you noticed on the that last bit where I was trying to aim, it wasn't working properly, but I remembered these little buttons here on the side of the triggers. So it was on sort of semi-automatic down there at the bottom. It kept flicking on and off. So if you put it to the top, it should be fine. Okay. See how we get on here. Oh yes. There we go. There's someone there. Where's he gone? Where has he gone? On. <laughs> gotcha. Can definitely hear him. Get in. Bit of an ambush there, I know that. Let's have that one. Oh no, actually no. Don't want that one. Let's get rid of that. Have that one. Not a fan of shotguns. So there's only what else I can see from here. Helmet. Does a helmet actually help? I don't know. Does it give you more armor? Is that? Gotcha. The only problem is, who heard that? Oh, and who saw it? Because I'm going to get shot. Yep. Ah. Oh. There we go. You see. Okay guys, I think I've shown you enough uh, gaming. Um, PUBG, obviously the most resource demanding game I've played today. And let's turn it off. Let's feel, it's warm. It is warmer than before, but it's not too hot. That's a good amount of gaming there as well, so. Um, the Imidigi F1 absolutely passes with flying colours, playing one of the most resource hungry games out there being PUBG on pretty much high settings and high frame rate and it's looked pretty pretty smooth. Let me know what you think guys uh, of the gameplay, um, not necessarily how rubbish I am but in terms of quality um, it definitely seems to be there. The 200, dub, 200 pound phone. Links are in the description below if you want to take a look. The only problem that I found is that Fortnite is not compatible with this device. So that might put a few people off to a Fortnite, get the finger out and actually make the game compatible on all devices, or well, most anyway. But, so I have 66% battery left. When I started it, I had around about 77. Um, and I've probably done all in all, I know the video's not obviously that long, but I had to cut bits down obviously because it'd be too long. About an hour's gaming um, on here. 
So battery seems to be holding up pretty well as well. Right, but that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching. Any comments, comment down below. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.